so in this video we're going to be replacing the carburetor on this old Murray 18 horsepower riding lawnmower so stick around uh, so last fall I picked this old lawnmower up I think I paid like 75 bucks for it at a yard sale and the issue that it was having is that it would run for a few seconds then it would start pouring smoke out the exhaust and I did a little uh, you know, diagnosis on it and ran it myself and decided what it needed was a new carburetor because what was happening is is down here at the bottom of the carburetor I mean this is my guess anyways this is a switch that actually turns on the fuel and um, maybe there's an issue with the float too, but as soon as you turn it on, it just starts flooding the engine. And then, you know, it floods really bad, starts to smoke. Um, the oil was way over full and smelled like gasoline. So and that's what I determined was a problem. I went ahead and got it. All else fails, you know, the, I can get a new engine for it. So. I'll go ahead and get started. So I have the new carburetor here. Um, if this works out, I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description so you can get one yourself. I think it was all of about, uh, I was like less than 20 bucks. It was like $12 for a carburetor versus I think 10 for a rebuild kit. So. Went ahead and just got a new carburetor for it. There it is, all nice and pretty. Alright, now just to get to this carburetor, you have to pull that up. Cover comes off, there's the air filter. Fairly decent new filter. Still see a little bit of light through it. It'll probably be on my list of things to buy. Another filter there, the screen. It's got a two layer filter screen set up there. And pretty much. I said, gotta figure out how to get this off on the carburetor. It may just be really long studs here. You have studs, you got a nut that you gotta take off, gotta disconnect. A little solenoid down here. No, oh, I forgot another reason why I was thinking that this was the issue is because I'd looked down here, this is the actual intake of it, and there was gasoline just puddled in there, so. That was another reason for me to believe that it was the carburetor that needed to be replaced. Oh, wow, 7 sixteenths. We have a non-metric lawnmower. Pretty interesting. Maybe first, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the fuel line. And it does come with a section of fuel line, it looks like, so if this is cracked or anything, we replace that. pretty stiff and everything so probably replace it anyways PCV hose back here got two bolts one on the back side one on the front side All right, so learning experience. Looks like I might have to take off this plastic housing here. So, 
This is still a 716, so it looks smaller. I'll try a 3.8. All right, I went ahead and took off the engine cover. Um, what's needed for that is there's two 3.8 inch bolts back here. And then up front, there's two Torx heads bolts, and these are T45s. So just be prepared. Not everybody carries Torx heads. But um, there's the exposed engine. Still turns, nice. But as you can see, this is loose now. It comes, it does not come with that gasket there. But anyways, there's the intake tube. There's the carburetor itself. You now the studs have little nuts permanently on them. So this one's already loose. So we'll take that one off. And that one's tight. All right, so that's loose. Go ahead and remove the spring. And just up to removing the linkages there and there. There you have it, the old carburetor. Pretty gross. And here's that PCV valve hose. Talking about earlier. Might see if I have a something that can replace that. Probably not. Doesn't look like it's able to come out of there very easily. So looks like I won't be able to do much with that. Let's see if I can figure out something. Hold on, guys, because this is in pretty bad shape. I'm not sure if uh, it's going to cause any running issues. I mean, who knows, that may have been the whole problem. But I'm gonna fix it since I'm in here. I'm gonna go see if I can find something that'll fix it. So I'll be right back. All right, so I couldn't find anything that you know, remotely came close to it. I have my stock, so I just wrapped an electrical tape around it, clamped it back on, and that'll be a temporary fix until we get a replacement. Hopefully these things are popular enough we can just get this hose that aside and so all this is open we have a new carburetor compared to the old one it's pretty close now I know, it, you know a lot of things do look a bit different like the bowl looks different stuff like that but it's just updated technology this is not new old stock so in the kit it does come with a few gaskets and things like that have a quick look, see if there's anything that needs to be transferred over. A couple of hose clamps for the fuel line. And we have some kind of a stop. Let's see if it looks similar to anything on this. It does not, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Big ugly screw. See if there's anything resembles it on here I don't see anything this might be just used to adapt one thing or another there's a little o-ring for something and this guy looks like that guy there so looks like go ahead and put that on here I'm guessing it's just to lock the throttle in place maybe I don't know it's pretty stiff turning so idle mixture screw that's the word I'm thinking of it's got to be that it's really really stiff maybe it's well maybe it's set from the factory maybe it should be good um, I'll go ahead and just bolt this sucker up get everything hooked up all the choke and everything Choke there, throttle there. I just double check here. Okay, so that's the throttle. And 
This is the choke. We'll just hook it up to the same place as it was because there's three different positions for the choke. We're gonna hook it up on this end one, which has the same two holes there. So we'll go ahead and hook this up and throttle. Throttle, I believe, was up like this because it needs to go a certain way. And the back one's the throttle, the front one's the choke. This is why you take a picture of things before you dig in. This looks like how it's supposed to be done. So I'm just going to do it like this, up like that, to there. And it bolts up there like it should. It looks like it does. So tighten this down. Feed this through and get it back into its little spot that it needs to be in. Place the fuel line, at least that section of it. Put this off here at the filter. I guess I hope that's fuel line we could provide. I guess we'll find out if it starts eating through it. Alright, just like that. Alright, now I'm gonna go find some oil to put into it because there's no oil in it now. I drained it when I saw that there was a bunch of gas in it, so I'll be right back and fire it up. All right, so I've got a quart of oil in there. It's topped off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start this. So I'm gonna leave the engine cover off just in case. Hopefully we've got enough battery power. Ignition on and doing before I do have a muffler I might just go ahead and figure out how to toss that on there that's you're gonna at least have to let that thing run and burn that off um, sounds like it needs a new spark plug but for the most part there we go I'm gonna get the cover back on and take it down the driveway or something all right, guys, I uh, played with the carburetor a little bit, and now she's purring like a kitten. Just let it idle out there, burn off any excess oil that was on the exhaust. And uh, unfortunately, it's too dry out here right now. The sun came out and dried everything off, so I didn't get it put together in time. 
so mowing's gonna have to wait till another day. And if you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. And if you know anybody who could use a tutorial like this, go ahead and share it with them. And until next time, keep picking up dust.